Hi, Maynard. Hi, teacher. Eh, What eh, happened to all of you? Estábamos conectados y no la veíamos a usted. Yeah, me neither. I've been here since 905. <laughs> sí, todos estábamos en otro grupo ahí y preguntándonos por usted. I think you were in another group, but not with me. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, where were you guys, actually? <laughs> Are you were with somebody else, with another group? Uh, yes, uh, di dijeron que se iban a salir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, you were not with me. Yeah, you were not with me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes, I'm here waiting for you, but uh, you were not with me. Yes, teacher. Did you click to the right button? The right invitation? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think you got an error because uh, I haven't I haven't seen you. I was really worried. Oh, nobody will go into that class, okay? <laughs> yeah, you can let the note to like uh, disappear and try to log in again. <laughs> oh, that's your little baby. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, you can let them know that I'm here. But yes, I can uh, Voy a escribirles en el grupo porque se salgan y se conecten nuevamente para que yes. ya ingresen a esta clase. Permítanme. Teacher, right. Hello. <laughs> ¿Y qué pasó? Uh, I, because you entered, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know. I've been here cool. since. <laughs> yeah, I've been here since 9:05 a.m. Sorry. We are here. <laughs> yes, I finished my Welcome other class to. early, sorry and I was like, me, "Teacher." <laughs> no, I think you were connecting a different um, group. Or it was like a Zoom issue. I don't know, teacher. I, don't know. I think it was a Zoom know. issue, and I was like, "Oh my God, nobody loves me." <laughs> <laughs> I was really sad. It was that's the first time that I will have nobody right here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so God was really <laughs> yeah. They said no revolution, right? I don't like it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, no way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, hello. Because I've been writing since 905. And I told the other guys, you know what? I have to go to the class. So we got an early news uh, today. Okay. And I was like, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I speaking too fast, guys? No. No. no okay, cool, no, no. cool, cool. Because sometimes I speak too fast yes, and I do not open my right. mouth. Yeah. You already get used to it. I, that's what I'm lying with. Yeah. And I try to speak slowly for you, to be honest with you. Mm. It's really hard for me to speak slowly. <laughs> my pleasure, Luis. Yeah, you can ask my husband. Mm. I can't speak any other language, and sometimes you don't understand what am I saying. He just said yes. And I know. And when he said yes, I know. Did you understand me? <laughs> uh, actually, yes. no. <laughs> but uh, I just say yes because I think it's going to be positive. Yeah, that happens with my daddy as well. My dad, I used to speak really fast, and um, my mother had to say yes, even though she didn't understand what he said. So that happens to me as well. So that's why I'm asking you guys, and I'm so happy to see you because today we're going to do so much fun, so much fun. Okay. All right. So I think we're going to start. It's enough break for you. I gave you almost half an hour of break. 
So we need to start, right? Okay, how are you guys doing so far? Pretty good? Yes. Yes? Okay, did you do your homework, by the way? Homework. Oh, homework. Homework. No homework, no. <laughs> no homework no. right? No. My God. Edgardo said, what? No. I just did it. I'm talking. Yeah. No way. No. no. And you see, Luis, homework. Oh, come on. No way. Maybe no. today. Or tomorrow. That would be good. We will continue, guys. Um, Oh, the topic that we have just seen but today we're going to do a lot of listening activities a lot of them and a lot of pronunciation activities okay so we'll have so much fun and tomorrow you will have your homework okay for monday i promise oh by the way have you finished um the platform exercises no no yet mr Maynor and christian have given you some tips right uh, some, some. <laughs> some tips <laughs> yes okay any question feel free okay don't worry about that i will be more than glad to help you okay and also if if you don't need my help you can ask christian and you can ask alex or you can ask Maynard. and mauricio okay. as well <laughs> all right tell me guys what did you do today um edgardo you look so young today. Wow. You look like a teenager. Yeah. You're copying Mr. Victor's style. Right? I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you, Edgardo. Can you hear him, guys? No? That's right. That's okay, right. Okay, very good. I copy. I copy. I, I yes, copy. you copy. You copy him. <laughs> but in a different color yeah <laughs> yeah you look young i like it that's really good good style thanks yeah thanks thanks i also love your hair gabby i love your hair did you comb your hair no but it's really long mm -hmm. it's long yes it's long but i didn't long. do nothing <laughs> really <laughs> yeah. but i like it you, you have a straight hair right straight hair Lisa, straight uh, hair. No, it's like wavy. But, it's wavy? Uh, Did you iron uh, yeah. it? No. Uh, I uh, iron, iron. Iron, iron. yes. Uh -huh. I, I ironed my hair oh. uh, for a long time. Okay. And now it's straight. <laughs> really? But, oh my God, uh, that's a really good uh, tip. But truly, it's wavy. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, Claudia has a curly hair, right? Yeah, look at me. Yeah, curly like this. Hey, yeah. All righty. I wish I could have a straight hair. You it's know what? Yes, Cloudy. That picture. Oh my God! You look so good. It's so beautiful. In mis tiempos mozos. Really? Oh my God! <laughs> no, you still have it. You still be a young girl. No, Come I'm on. <laughs> yeah, Claudita. Hey, you know what? Today, guys, talking about uh, John Ages, we do have some guy, Mr. Victor, I think, who actually will sing a song to us. I don't know if it's going to be today or next week. I sent, guys, did you check the song that I sent it to you? The third option? Yes. Yeah? Did you practice? Did you like it? It was Ramsom, right? Ramsom song. I hopefully you're practicing because next week you're going to sing for us, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make like two separate ones. Uh girls versus boys, okay? So let's double check who sings better. Yeah. Okay. So you need to see you need to practice the three songs because I'm going I'm going to select the song. So you need to practice all of them. Yes, Claudine. Repeat, repeat please. Okay. Next okay. week. Next week? No, no the what? option. The option. Okay, you have the three options. Okay. The one that I sent it to you. The the Ramson one, the mm -hmm. Michelle Mabel, and mm -hmm. yesterday. And I okay, I sent it to you. So you have to practice all of them because you don't know which one I'm going to select. We need okay. to learn three songs. Yes, you need to practice them, Alexia. 
Okay. And after that, next coming uh, week, we're going to practice that. Girls versus boys. Who sings, who sings better, okay? Okay. okay. Hey, I love your smile, guy. You said yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay guys so let's start okay very good okay today guys we will continue and i'm going to show you some information that will be really good for you to understand Gu guys we're going to start with a game show right now this is what i want you to do actually guys we're going to listen three people talking on the tv game show and you're going to heard six um, scenarios. So you, I want you guys to pay attention to the scenarios because um, we are going to select the right options or the options that they said, okay? We're still guys talking about geography, comparisons, superlatives, everything, but in a different way. Today, we're going to develop the listening skill, all right? So are you guys ready for me? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Right now, just the, the first thing that I want you to do is just listen. Okay? I will play just the listening activity once and then we're going to come back. And at the in the second time, I will play the, the listening one more time, but you will be able to to read at the same time that you're listening. Okay. So we're going to practice different listening skills. Okay. All righty, so allow me just a couple of minutes and I will share my screen with you. So let me bear with me for a couple of minutes. All righty, there you go. Tell me if you're able to see my screen. Are you able to see my screen, by the way? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. So take a look at the options that we do have. We have one, two, three, four, five, and we have three options for each of them. So pay attention, please. Game show. Listen to three people on a TV game show. Check the correct answers. Our contestants this evening are Jack, Susan, and Jonathan. And now, contestants, let's get right to our first question. Question number one. Which is the oldest? The Statue of Liberty? The Eiffel Tower? or the Panama Canal? Jack? The Statue of Liberty is the oldest. They built it in 1886. They didn't build the Eiffel Tower until 1889 and the Panama Canal until 1914. That's correct. Question number two. What is the highest waterfall in the world? Is it Niagara Falls, Angel Falls, or Victoria Falls? Susan, Angel Falls is the highest. It's over 1,000 meters high. That's right. Question number three. Which is the heaviest? A pound of gold, a pound of butter, or a pound of feathers? Jonathan. They all weigh the same. Yes. Question number four. Which country is the largest? The U.S., China, or Canada? Nobody knows? Does anybody want to guess? Jack. Uh, China is the largest. No, sorry. Oh, shoot. Jonathan. Canada is the largest. Correct. Question number five. Which country has the largest population? India, Russia, or China? Susan. China has the largest. Very good. Question number six. Which is the smallest? Australia, Argentina, or Brazil? Susan. Argentina is the smallest of the three. That's right. All right, guys. Could you listen? Okay, now, guys. Okay, contestants. The Let's winner listen is... Again. Let's listen again. And I want you guys to pay attention on the right answer, okay? Okay, cool. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back. We're going to listen one more time. 
Tell me as long as you're able to see my screen. All right. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, cool. Yes. Okay, so let's yes. listen one more time. Game show. Listen to three people on a TV game show. Check the correct answers. Our contestants this evening are Jack, Susan, and Jonathan. And now, contestants, let's get right to our first question. Question number one. Which is the oldest? The Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, or the Panama Canal? Jack? The Statue of Liberty is the oldest. They built it in 1886. They didn't build the Eiffel Tower until 1889 and the Panama Canal until 1914. That's correct. Question number two. What is the highest waterfall in the world? Is it Niagara Falls, Angel Falls, or Victoria Falls? Susan, Angel Falls is the highest. It's over 1,000 meters high. That's right. Question number three. Which is the heaviest? A pound of gold, a pound of butter, or a pound of feathers? Jonathan. They all weigh the same. Yes. Question number four. Which country is the largest? The U.S., China, or Canada? Nobody knows? Does anybody want to guess? Jack. Uh, China is the largest. <laughs> no, sorry. Oh, shoot. Jonathan. Canada is the largest. Correct. Question number five. Which country has the largest population? India, Russia, or China? Susan. China has the largest. Very good. Question number six. Which is the smallest? Australia, Argentina, or Brazil? Susan. Argentina is the smallest of the three. That's right. Okay, contestants, the winner is... All right, guys, cool. So tell me, what's the answer for question number one? The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, very good. What about question number two? Angel Falls. Angel Falls. Angel Falls. Angel Falls. Angel Falls. Very good. What about number three? All the same. All the same. The same. The same. The fathers. Yeah, number four? Canada is the largest. Yeah, number the five? Largest. China. 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 Yeah, and number it's six? The largest. Argentina. 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 Very good. So tell me, guys, which of the you have any vocabulary questions right now? Any vocabulary Peters. questions, guys? Feathers. Feathers. This one. Yes. Plumas. Plumas. Anything else? No. Okay. Mm. Guys, I'm going to play it one more time, and I want you to, to uh, listen carefully um, on these particular ones. Why? Because I want you guys to pay attention of the numbers that they mention, measurements, okay? You understand what measurement is? Yes. Yes, medidas, okay? I just yes. want you guys to pay attention of the information, and you're going to let me know exactly the measurement that they're talking about, okay? Great. Okay. All right, that's what I want. So pay attention really quickly. Let me go back. Listen to six people. Can you listen, guys? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Ask questions about food and drink in a restaurant. Check the item that each person is talking about. Oops, this what? is not the one that I'm talking about. I think I clicked the wrong one. Let me just one couple of minutes. There you go. This is the one. Okay. 
Here's size six. Listening. Game show. Listen to three people on a TV game show. Check the correct answers. Our contestants this evening are Jack, Susan, and Jonathan. And now, contestants, let's get right to our first question. Question number one. Which is the oldest? The Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, or the Panama Canal? Jack? The Statue of Liberty is the oldest. They built it in 1886. They didn't build the Eiffel Tower until 1889. Okay, guys, when they build the, uh, the uh, Statue of Liberty? Hello, guys? Repeat the question. When, when the, the Statue of Liberty was built? 1886. All right, what about the Eiffel Tower? 18. Yes, 18. 18. Something like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's listen. And the Panama Canal until 1914. Okay, the Eiffel Tower was in 1889, and the Panama Canal, guys? 1814. 1814, very good. Now no, let's. 1914. Yes. 1914, exactly. Very good, Luis. Now let's listen to the information of the polls. Number two. That's correct. Question number two What is the highest waterfall in the world? Is it Niagara Falls, Angel Falls, or Victoria Falls? Susan. Angel Falls is the highest. It's over 1,000 meters high. Okay, which is the highest? 1,000 1, 1, 1, 1, meters high, right? We're talking about Angel Falls, is that correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. That's right. Very good. Question number three. Which is the heaviest? A pound of gold, a pound of butter, or a pound of feathers? Okay, what is the question? Sorry? Where is the heaviest? Uh-huh. And what is the option that she um, gave? Okay. Where, is, where is pound? Pound, libra. A pound libra. of gold, a pound of butter, and a pound of feathers, okay? That is another measurement, guys. Libra, okay? Pound. That's what we call it in English, um, pound. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And also, there's another measurement, meters, okay? Meters high, meters long. Okay, let's continue. Jonathan. They all weigh the same. Yes. Question number four. Which country is the largest? The US, China, or Canada? Nobody knows? Does anybody want to guess? Jack. Uh, China is the largest. <laughs> no, sorry. Oh, shoot. Jonathan. Canada is the largest. Correct. Question. All right. So we listen to that. That's good enough. Today, guys, we're going to talk about mm, measurements. Okay. Have you heard about that? Distance and measurements? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. No, teacher. That's what we're going to learn today. Okay. And. Because of that, we're going to start with the snapshot. That means the word that we live in. Guys, you're going to uh, find it out more information about the world in totally, about countries, about um, the largest clock in the world, about uh, the busiest airport, etc. Okay, and this one, guys, here we're going to learn some the uh, some terminology about measurements and distance, medidas y distancias. That's what we're going to learn today. Como se dice billones, como se dice kilómetros, como se dice uh, altura, como se dice metros, como se dice libras, kilos. That's what we're going to learn today, okay? Okay. All righty. Okay, guys, so if you can see it, could you please be so kind to help me read it? Uh, who can help me? Can you see it, guys? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes right? Yes, sure. Big enough. All right. So, can you please help me reading the first one, number one? 
puns. Uh, Christian, could you please read it for us? Okay. Uh, is French? France. 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 Yes, is the cap. Is the is the country. Okay. France is the most popular country to visit. It has about seven a million visitors a year. Seventy eight million. Wow, that's a millions. that's a good one, right? That's a lot yeah. of visitors. Okay, seventy two million. All righty. All right. What about number two, Alexander? Mr. Alexander Graham Bell. Where is him, guys? No idea. The most watched World Cup was in the United States. In mm, you can do it. Ninety nine four. Nineteen ninety four. Nineteen ninety four. It had an average attendance. Attendance of of a hundred. No. Seventy hundred. No, seventy thousand. Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand. Once a day. A day. Okay, we're going to practice once again because we're practicing reading right now. The repeat after me, Alexander. The most watched. The most watched. World Cup. World Cup. Was in the United States. Was in the United States. In 1994. In 1994. It had an average. It has. It had an average. 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 Attendance. Attendance of of seventy thousand seventy thousand fans a day. Fans a day. Very good. So can you imagine, guys? That's amazing, right? Seventy thousand fans a day. Wow. All righty. Okay, let's continue. Uh, who can help me reading? Thank you so much, Luis. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the largest club is in in Neca. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia. All right. Uh, each of its four phase is in 43, 43 meters. Uh-huh. And um, uh, one, uh -huh. 141. Uh, 141 exactly. feet. Very yes. good. Okay, so you see, guys, the largest clock, el reloj más largo del mundo, está en Arabia Saudita. That's good. He has four faces, tienes cuatro caras. Mide 43 metros, or 141 feet, pies. Okay? Guys, this is really important, because here in America, or also Latin America, we, we use meters, ¿es correcto? Metros, para yes. medir los largos. Pero en Europa, se usa mucho los, los pies. Okay? So, por eso es que tenemos el equivalente en metros y en pies. So it's important to know this. All right, let's continue. The, sec the next one, Mauricio, go ahead. The busiest airport, please. The busiest airport in the world is Hartfield Jackson International Airport mm -hmm. in Atlanta, Georgia, yeah. United States. It has more than 88 million passengers a year. Can you imagine, guys? El aeropuerto más... Um, Más visitado, se podría decir, o más concurrido, es el Hartsfield Jackson de Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. No, no, exactly. ¿Noten cuántos pasajeros lo visitan al año? 88, 88 millones. Can you imagine, guys? Woo. That's a huge one, right? That's a lot of people. All right. Very good. Continue. Uh -huh. Victor, could you please be so kind to read it for us? I can see all the questions. <laughs> All the questions. No, no question. There's no question. Are you sure I can uh, see? I can, I can see the... What about now? Thanks. Uh, can you go a little bit? Okay, what about now? More, more, yeah. Much I better? Guess. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Avatar is the most popular movie ever. He has made more, more than 2.4 billion. Wow, have you know have you noticed that guys? Avatar, I, yeah. yeah, is the most popular movie. Really? 2.4 billion. Yeah, that's amazing, right? Oof. A lot of money. A lot of money, my dears. Yeah, let's continue. Gabby M, can you please continue reading for us? Okay. 
Okay, Gabby, we listen to you. Gabby M. Sorry, sorry. Okay, Gabby, the, okay. The longest non-stop flight is from New York to Singapore. It's wow. 18.5 hours long. All right. Do you understand this uh, this announcement, guys? ¿Entienden este anunciado? Yes. No, yes. Claudita? Mm -hmm. No. No? I don't know. Not the longest non-stop. Quiere decir non-stop flight. Es decir, un, un, un vuelo, el vuelo, sí, el vuelo, un vuelo directo. Un vuelo, vuelo directo, directo. Sin escalas. Sin escalas. Es de Nueva York a Singapur. Y es de un promedio de 18.5 18 horas. horas. Can you imagine? Wow. ¿Qué te parece estar en un avión 18.5 horas sentado? That's amazing, right? Can you imagine if you wanted to go to the bathroom? No way. All right, yeah. But that happens. Okay. ¿Sabían eso, chicos? Did you know that? No. No, 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 that, no. That's really nice, right? Ooh. Okay, let's continue reading. Uh, who wants, who can help me? Edgardo, could you please help me with that? The same one? The... Antarctica, please. We, can, we cannot hear you, Edgardo. Okay. okay. There you go. Antarctica is the largest desert on Earth at 40 million square kilometers. 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 Uh, 5.4 million mm -hmm. square miles. Very good. It's also, it's also the coldest, windiest, I don't know. Continent. Yes, very good. Continent. Very good, good job. You see guys, que todo está en superlative? Coldest, windiest. ¿Se fijan eso? Largest. Ok. Dice que es el desierto más largo. Tiene 14 millones de kilómetros cuadrados. Eso significa square kilometers, guys. Kilómetros cuadrados. O lo que es su equivalente, 5.4 millas eh, cuadradas. Ok. Square miles. Dice que es el continente más, que tiene más viento y que es más helado. Can you imagine that? Would you like to live there, guys? Hmm. Uh, no, right? <laughs> no, no, not really. No. <laughs> okay, very good. Continue. The highest price. Uh, who can read it for me? Alex, are you with us? Está Alex con nosotros? No. What about Moran? No, right? What about Maynard? Hmm. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay, the uh, highest price for a book at an audition is 11. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Auction. Ah, okay, an auction is 11.5 million for Birth of America by John Audubon. Audubon, uh, we ex Audubon. exactly, that's amazing. Can you imagine, guys, paying for a book? 11.5 million. Oh. Are you are you able to pay that amount of money? No, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a lot of money for a, for a book. Any questions, oh. guys, regarding any vocabulary here? Mm. Auction. No. Auction. 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 Okay. Auction. Okay. I'm Auction. I'm going to I'm going to to let you know what's the meaning. But do me a favor, guys. Try to read it by yourself right now. Just uh, the sentence and try to guess the meaning. Traten de ver cuál sería el significado. Aunque ustedes no sepan, pero lean el contexto para tener una idea más o menos de cuál podría ser el significado. Sí, en, un, en una, en una no. subasta. Exactly. Subasta. Very good. En una subasta. Exactly. <laughs> You see, guys? Un más alto por un libro en una Ex subasta fue exactly. de 11.5 millones de dólares. Yes. Birds of America, sea los pájaros de América por John de Audubon. Ven, guys, 11. que... 11.5 millones de dólares. Can you imagine? Wow. That's a huge oro. money, right? For yeah. A for a book. <laughs> for a book. Guys, you see what we're doing? Okay, sometimes, guys, 
Maybe you don't know the meaning of a word. It's really new for you, like auction, right? Pero si ustedes ven el contexto, you read the context, you can get an idea what could be the meaning of that. Eso es lo que hemos visto, hecho ahorita. ¿Por qué les digo eso? Porque sometimes you're going to read articles about terminology that you don't know. Pero no significa que no puedan averiguar el significado si leen el contexto. ¿Ven? For me, for me, it's too easier to understand reading. Uh -uh. And, and es más fácil, lo entiendo más fácil leyendo lo que escuchando. I, I know, I know. Por eso es que estamos viendo diferentes skills. Listening, reading, yes. writing. Porque hay unos que les facilita más que, que otros, right? Entonces, that's what we're doing. Okay, guys, last one. The strongest animal. Who can help me? Claudita, go ahead, please. Uh, the strongest the strongest animals is the rhinoceros. Rhinoceros? Yeah. Little, it can live. Fifth. Um, um, 850. 850 times mm -hmm. is all way. Very good. ¿Cuál es el animal más fuerte? The strongest el animal, rino, guys? Rhinoceronte. El rhinoceronte. El escarabajo. El escarabajo el rhinoceronte. rhinoceronte. El escarabajo. That's right. Beetle, guys, es escarabajo en inglés. Beetle. ¿Cuánto okay. puede eh, levantar. levantar? 850 veces su propio peso. Can you imagine, Mauricio? That's amazing, right? Yes. Vamos a ver si puedo encontrar el rinoceronte aquí. Déjeme ver. Eh, sería escarabajo rinoceronte, right? Sí. Yes. 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 Ok. Let's double check right now. Let me check right now. Can you see, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing, right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever seen it's this? It, yeah, I know. Oh. It's not. It's not beautiful, right? But it's a stronger. It's sweet. It's sweet. Stronger. Yeah. You see what is reno? Because you see this one. Mira, parece como reno, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, so you see, that's amazing. So yeah. you see, with the teacher, you're also talking about animals. So that's amazing as well. How, yeah. how do you say cuerno? Horn. Horn. H O R N. Horn. 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 Yeah. Horn. 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 All righty. Very good. So do you like it? It's really interesting, right? To read and to yes. discover that. So, guys, yeah. according to what you have read, uh, which facts, de lo que, facts serían como enunciados, right? Which facts do you find surprising de lo que acabo de ver? ¿Cuáles les sorprendieron? Which ones? All of them. All of them. Uh, okay, that's good. No, <laughs> in, the in airport. One phrase. The airport. The Why? Are we... Because it's, 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 it's too much people that visit the, this airport. Yeah, too much people. Exactly. Any other, any other announcement or any other fact? The, the action about the book about the book yes. yeah the book, the book. Yes. that's interesting right yeah definitely the, the yes. size the size of the of the antarctic oh yeah and what about the longest non-stop flight it does that, that's good one that's right yeah so hours. you see it's really it's really interesting that How? we can Yes, go ahead. I, I, I am thinking how feel the people when when the fly at races. Uh, uh, lands, lands. How when the lands fly lands? Them. Oh yeah, maybe tire or maybe uh the legs, the, cir the circulation, right, of the legs. Yeah, and bore as well, definitely. And maybe dizzy, mareado, could be. Yeah. Okay, guys, tell me something. What is the tallest building in our country? I think Victor mentioned that yesterday. El Pedregal. All righty. In a country. Uh-huh. In a country, yeah. El Pedregal. In El Pedregal, yeah. Torre, Torre Futura. No, El Pedregal, actually. El Pedregal. What, yeah, okay. what Gaby said. In the most popular city to visit, guys? What do you think? Santana. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, he said that because he lives there. Okay. <laughs> really? Okay. What about the busiest airport? We only have one airport, right? No, two airports. Yes. Two airports. Two airport. Which no, one? Airport. 
Y lo pango. Y lo pango. Y lo pango. Ok. Yes. All righty. And what else? Only lo pango. San Romero. Ah, yes, exactly. You're right about that. Okay, guys. So, this, is the, this was the introduction, guys, to the measurements. Okay, and distance. Si ustedes se fijan, we have seen measurements and distance. Take a look, guys. We have measurements. Let me highlight this one really quickly. Yeah, this one. All right, here. Okay. We have measurements. For example, this one, guys. Miren. Metros, right? Fit. See? ¿Sí? Esos son measurements, medidas. All right. We have another one. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me move here to the right side. All righty. We have measurements as well, right? Look at it. Square kilometers, yeah. right? And a square miles. All right. But guys, also we have medidas. Which ones? All right. Take a look at this. Hours long. See? ¿Sí? Esa es una medida. El medida de tiempo, right? And mm -hmm. we do have also another one. Wait. Wait. Exactly. You see? Y lo que oyeron también en el listening, pounds, right? Okay. Yeah. Entonces, precisamente, todo eso es lo que vamos a ver, a empezar a ver un poquito hoy, y lo vamos a continuar viendo tomorrow, okay? Okay. Y es really important porque a ustedes les interesa las miras. Por ejemplo, usted va a comprar, ¿cómo dice? Deme un kilo de papas. Yes. O de, yeah. O deme una, ¿qué? Una sí. libra de frijoles, right? We need yeah. to learn how to say that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Un dólar. Me apologize. All right. Okay, guys. So, guys, today we're going to listen more measurement and distance. And this is going to be basically a, a dialogue between Scott and Beth. That they're talking about visit uh, other countries. Mm -hmm. Actually, guys, you're going to learn about Mount Cook. El Monte Cook. Y van a ver a dónde está. All right. So, are you ready to listen? Yes, right? Okay, I know that. All right. So let's listen carefully. Just allow me a couple of minutes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I always forget this. So it's this one. Yes, it is this one. I have two things here. All right, cool. All right, good. Exercise. Can you listen, guys? Yes. Okay, cool. nine. Conversation. Distances and measurements. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. There are lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Wow! So how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Maybe I should visit you next year, too. All right, guys. So, tell me something. Did you find any measurement or this any information here in the dialogue? Yes. 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 Which one? Three thousand eight hundred meters. Three thousand eight hundred meters. Meter high. Very good. There's meters. another one here. Two thousand uh, kilometers. Two thousand kilometers. 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 All right. Kilometers. Very good. Okay. Excellent. So we have kilometers and meters. That is like a distance, right? All right. Very good. Okay. And tell me, guys, what did you understand about the conversation? What they're talking about? De que visitaron Australia. In English. No. Uh, <laughs> is going to visit Australia the next year. All righty. Who's going to visit um, next year? Scott. 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 Okay. And what is, uh, Scott. What is uh, Beth from? Where is she coming from? New Zealand. She's from New, New Zealand. Zealand. Okay, and tell me, what is exactly the adjective that she used to describe New Zealand? Beautiful. Beautiful. What else? 
Very mountain, mountain, mountainous. That means that you have a lot of mountains to visit, and a also you can find a lot of farms. Exactly, Lots there you go. Farms. Okay, guys, what is the highest mountain in New Zealand? Mount, Mount Cook. Cook. Mount, Mount Cook. Cook. Exactly. Mount is the one that you, is the one that you're double checking there on the picture? All right, very good. Uh, and tell me, guys, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Two thousand kilometers. Two thousand kilometers. Exactly. Kilometers. Kilometers. Very good. So let's continue, kilometers. guys, with the rest kilometers. of the conversation. And now I want you guys to pay attention and find it out for me. Uh, what else in New Zealand is famous for? Okay, besides the Mount Cook, there's something else. So just listen carefully. Okay. Page ninety-five, exercise nine. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else is New Zealand famous for? Tell me a little more about New Zealand, Beth. Well, it has some great beaches. There are some excellent surfing beaches in the North Island. Well, I don't really like surfing, but I love boating. Really? You can go boating in Auckland. It's one of the most popular places for sailing. And you should definitely try jet boating in the South Island. Oh, I'd love to do that. It sounds really exciting. It is, and there's good skiing in New Zealand. Lots of people go there to ski. It sounds perfect for me. Now I have to go. Okay, guys, tell me what else is New Zealand famous for? Great, great, for beaches. Beaches. great beaches. For mm, what? To practice what? To surf. 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 Surfing. Uh, only surfing? And building. Uh huh. What else? Uh, good ski. Uh huh, exactly. Oh, did you remember one name of the beaches that she mentions? No. Uh, North. Uh huh, exactly. Very good. You see, I asked you for a specific question. Okay, guys. So, did you like this activity today? Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah, right, it's really interesting. Okay, guys, so tomorrow we're going to focus also in this dialogue once again because I just want you guys to pay attention to the WH questions that they use to ask, for example, about distance, to ask about highest, to ask about um, time, all right? What is exactly the question that they use? and how you answer that question using distance and measurements, okay? That's what we're going to, to learn because okay. you need to know how you can ask for a specific information and how you answer, okay? For example, if somebody asks you, okay, uh, I wanna, I'm in San Salvador and I wanna go to Santa Ana. Uh, how, may, how much time I can spend? And can you let me know about a, how many kilometers are from Santa Ana to San Salvador and vice versa, okay? Yes. So you need to know how to say that and how to ask that because sometimes you're going to ask for information, but sometimes you're going to give the information, all right? Mm -hmm. And also guys, we're, we're giving you the, the different kind of uh, measurements like kilometers, meters, square miles, square kilometers, uh, meters, fit because you're going to speak with a lot of people that they come from different countries and the distance and the measurements are different okay so you need to know okay. the equivalent okay the equivalent for example in this case christian that works with for a hotel you receive a different kind of people from different countries yes so definitely you need to know that for example in england they use the fit no the meters and for example, yeah. guys, in Costa Rica, they do not they do not use so frequently the pounds. Most of the, the time, when you go to the supermarket or the market, everybody sells you the things in uh, kilos, mm. no in pounds. Yes. So you see why it's really important to know both of them and also the equivalent. Okay, so it's really important. That's why we're uh, double checking this topic today. And we're going to stop right now. And we will continue with that tomorrow because I will let you know tomorrow will be your homework for Monday, okay? Isn't it amazing? Yes. <laughs> okay, only the teacher is happy about it. I don't know why. No idea.
because I, I, I know what is, what is going to be your, <laughs> your homework. So, I uh, will leave you uh, today also, so you can rest in peace. I mean, don't, don't pass away, right? Just mean like relax, okay? Relax. Relax. Uh, take a, a nap. Finish the platform exercises, please. Okay. And any questions, I will be more than glad to help you. Oh, Chris, uh, Victor, by the way, could, uh, do you still have problems with the platform? I got I got the problem, Grim. You still have the problem, uh, but let me. Uh, may I ask you? Could you finish a uh, one point seven section? I don't know which one is that, but I I'm no. going to check and I tell you. Okay, cool. And also, we can have like a meeting, just you and me, if you wanted to, so we can discuss it. We can and I can help you. Okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, I I I have to show you my pets. I think I promised, right? To show you my dogs. No. No. no, it was no. not you. No. Maybe it was no. the other group, right, Victor? Because as you said, ah. I have preference. Oh, ah. no, no. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm going to show you that I do not have preference. Okay? So allow me just, give me just one minute and I will come back, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Creo que sí tiene preferencia con el otro grupo. Se nota, se nota. Que nos dejó solos ahora. Dos veces. Ven, ok, cool. Ok, he is here next to me. So me apologize, I will pop it up the. the oh, the video. Oh, God. Ok. This is whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah, whiskey. Hi, whiskey. Hi. How are you? Okay, he's a terrier for a schnauzer. Okay, he wants to. He wants to to look at you, right? So he wants to meet yeah. you guys. Okay. So this is whiskey, and I will show you a chestnut. Chestnut, come here. Come on, bud. Yes, I have another one. It's a, it's whiskey's babies actually. Teacher, I have oh. a question. Yes, I'm listening to you. We can use so cute when when it's a pet or animal or only babies. No, also also pet and animal, you can use it as well. I got another question. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. Okay. Like, you have uh, the favorite group, so... <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> have, I, I, you I have, know I hurt your feelings. May I apologize? <laughs> you have a favorite favorite pet. You too? see? Oh. Oh. This is chestnut. This is Whiskey's uh -huh. baby. Hi, baby. Uh -huh. hey. Look at my eyes. Oh, yes. yes. Beautiful. Yes, he's huge. You see? Uh -huh. He's he's five months right now. Oh my God, but it's really heavy. <laughs> so these are, these are two guys that always are with me in my classes. <laughs> so now you already know them, okay? You met Mr. Whiskey and Chestnut. And which one is your favorite? <sighs> whiskey. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because Whiskey uh, is my first pet uh, as a couple with my husband. Actually, he arrived when we were like six years of marriage and he was uh, wow. one month and a half. So he was a little baby like this. So oh. if, we, if, if Whiskey gets sick, you get cry. If, he, yes. if the other pet, if, if the other pet gets sick, you don't feel nothing. No, I, I, of course I feel so sorry for him <laughs> because I love animals. I love both of them. But I can say that whiskey is my son and chestnut is my grandson. <laughs> yes. I think if whiskey something happens to whiskey, I think I can pass away. Because I'm really attached to him. Because I have another whiskey. question. Go ahead. Oh my God. Okay. I feel like a CIA no. right now. FBA, by the way. Okay. How, how, how old is whiskey? Uh, he's going to become on, on November eight years. 
Eight years. Eight years. So half package, medio paquete, half package. And Chester is five months. He's a senior. He's a senior, yes. Senior. So chestnut eats one type of food, and whiskey eats another type of food. So I had to buy two separate foods. Okay. But I need to take care of them. They are my babies. You know what? We are really close to whiskey that, for example, sometimes if I feel sick, because I have a, a really um, hard a health problem that sometimes I get worse. And like, do you remember that when, once I couldn't give you a class because I was, I was bad? Do you remember it, Claudita? I had what? a Christian, right? Do you remember that I, I had a, a, a health problem on last model, I think? Yeah. Last model, yeah? Yeah. So I was really bad. And uh, whiskey, every time that I feel bad, he's with me all the time. He does not eat. It, he needs mm -hmm. to be with me or he's uh, laying on the floor next to my bed or he is with me literally next to me or on my chest and he's there and he does not move and he mm -hmm. like raise up his eyes like that to double check if I'm okay when he sees Sir, that I'm getting better he is, like he lives but besides it will not Yes, we have a really it's terrible connection. connection that you cannot imagine. Miss, miss. Yes, sir. Today, today I was talking with my grandpa, with my grandpa. Okay. He, he told me he wanted a pet, but he wanted pit bull. <gasps> I love it. So I had to buy a pit bull and, and give to to him in present. Oh, that's nice. He will be really happy and appreciate it. I love pets. Mm -hmm. They make me feel happy. <laughs> yeah, and it also helps you like get a little bit of distress, right? When you're under too much pressure, when you play with them, or when you are right home and they say hi, right? Moving their tails like this. <laughs> oh my god, it's really high. It's really nice. Yeah, they are my babies. So you already met them, okay? So okay. you know Mr. Whiskey and Chestnut. Yeah. Another another day. Uh, I will show it. I will show with you with uh, them with wearing a tie because they have a tie or a bow tie. Tienen corbata y tienen corbatín. Yes. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So it was nice to talk to you, but you have to go to sleep. Okay. And me too. I'm not just kidding. I'm still working right now. Okay. Okay. Hugs and kisses and see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Pero acepta la llamada yeah, okay, we'll, yes. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.